So we have this light shining in the room here, and we have a sun face on one of these uh, pushable blocks. I think you kind of get the idea as to what we got to do here. So let's go ahead and pull this bad boy out. Push him right on over to here so he's out of the way. And now let's pull out this sun block. Because I'm sure that's not important or anything. Not at all. I will say, though, I do really like the fact that we are seeing uh, Child Link still very much in the game, so to speak, with regards to puzzle solving and stuff. I mean, we kind of saw that with regards to the bottom of the well. But it is really nice to see that, uh, you know, he's still he's still in the game. He's still got it, you know. He's all good. But we do have these silver rupees in here that I would like to... Collect them all and see what arrives from doing some rather simple rupee grabbing. So let's see. One. Two. Alright. I'm back up here. Number three. Very nice, Link. Good job there. Number four. And then we got the last one over here. Very nice. And that gives us a permanent torch. I am sure that you don't have to, eh? Um, I'm sure you didn't have to essentially grab all the silver rupees. If you really wanted to, you could probably use, like, what? Dense fire? And then just kind of, uh, run around with the deco stick that way. But who would want to do that? Also, I have no idea where this third one is. Here it is. And down a, ch a chest comes down from the heavens, I guess. In this situation, I suppose. Hey, hey. I want you to go down there. Death isn't awaiting for you. You'll be fine. Alright. Uh, another small key, which is pretty cool. Can respect the fact that we are getting another small key in our possession. Oh, hang on. I hear happy-go-lucky golden skull Tula. That's gonna get smacked in the face. Hey, hit number one and hit number two. We like to see it. Come to me, brother. Very nice. All right, let's see what's behind this door. Well, hi there. You wanna you wanna just sit and chat about today? Is he even? Is this lad even moving? No, he's just standing. He's just sitting there. He's just having the time of his life, honestly. Well, what if I hit him? Ah, he's pissed off. I see. So this right here is essentially an iron knuckle. These guys do a ton of damage, but they hit relatively slow. And unfortunately, I took some rather fun hits right there. But the idea is you want to get a hit in and back away as quickly as you can so that way they can't keep a chain of attacks going to you. This guy's just having a bad time. So that's good for me, honestly. But obviously, you know, when you're attacking a man that has an iron suit on, it's, you know, it's not exactly, you're not exactly going to be doing a lot of damage. Which is, uh, rather unfortunate if I had to be put one way. But yeah, again, just be very cautious with his hits because they can do some severe damage. But anytime he breaks one of these pillars, you can get health back. So that is something to make note of in the midst of this fight. Is that if you're getting low on health and you don't have a fairy, get him to hit one of the pillars. He'll be alright. But there we go. That takes care of him. Let's see what's behind this door here. Ah, yes. Nothing. <laughs> no. Oh. Hello. Hey, what's up, Link? Surprised to see me? A long time in this world is almost nothing to you, is it? How mysterious. Even I thought that the tales of a boy who could travel back and forth through time was merely a legend. Link, you have fully matured as an adult. From now on, the future of all the people in Hyrule is on your shoulders. Maybe it's not my time anymore. Here is my last advice. Two witches inhabit this temple. In order to destroy them, turn their own magic powers against them. Hoot hoot. Do you want to hear what I said again? Absolutely not. I will continue to watch you. Hoot hoot hoot. 
All right, bye, all. No one liked you. I mean, I'm sure that probably helped the uh, first timers, but uh, after that, not so much. Maybe people might like you as a different type of individual. But anyway, would you look at that? We found the silver gauntlets. If you wore them, you could feel the power in your arms to lift, or the power to lift the big things with A. But these gauntlets won't fit a kid. Plus, you promised to give them to Naburo. You should keep your word. Oh, what's that? The desert decided to exist as a desert? That didn't sound good. Hey, where are you taking me? Yeah, this isn't this isn't sounding good. Yeah, let me go. Oh boy. Oh dear. You, you fiends, Ganondorf's minions. Yeah, this isn't looking too good here. Link, get out of here now! These witches, they're using black magic on me. You know, I'm surprised they didn't go after us after doing whatever they just did to Naburo. I guess just teleport her further deep within the temple itself and probably not in a relatively nice place if I had to make a guess. Nope, the desert decided to be a desert again. All right. With that kind of done out of the way, we basically just did the first half of this temple. Now, well, actually, you know what? Eh, okay, we know. Let's go to the Temple of Time, but there is something I would like to do before we go back and essentially do uh, the whole time moving forward shenanigans, and that's going to be at Zora's River. So, back here in the Temple of Time, we're actually going to just go ahead and dip out, and as I said, let's just go ahead and go to the Zora's River, because there is another heart piece we can't obtain. I kind of waited till now, which may seem kind of odd, but that's just uh, the way we operate here. <laughs> we just do things in rather weird, in a rather weird order scheme, so... Fun times indeed, I guess. Although, with that being said, we do need it to be daytime, so... Ah, uh, yes. I misplayed a note. Fun times indeed. Alright. Now that the gates are opened, let's go ahead and head on over. Let's go, Link. We're going on a journey today, buddy. A journey filled with epic proportions, I suppose. Even though we've kind of been doing that for like, what? Like 10, 11 hours? Maybe a little more, maybe a little less. I don't really know, to be honest. I've lost track of time. Time just keeps moving forward and backwards. You never really know what you're doing. Can't really blame most people. I would probably sit there and just be like, yeah. I don't know what's going on. Yeah, me too, Navi. Me too. I agree. Alright. Let's go ahead and just mosey our way on over. Alright. Sora's River. Let's go ahead and see if we can get any uh, consumables here. Ah, uh, yes. We get the most useless of consumables. Rupees. Very nice. Well, at least we got some magic. It makes me feel a little better. And up and over I go. Come on, Link. Show Hyrule your true speed. I feel like you're holding out on us, buddy. A nine-year-old can go like 60 miles per hour, right? You know, let's just go for a full-on just yeehaw status. All right, so right on over here. If you come up onto this log and come on over here, you notice that there's, oh, hang on here. Some frogs are looking at you from underwater. So, we actually have to play these frogs a few songs in order for us to essentially get, well, I don't know, a heart piece. Okay. You played the ocarina. Young lad, you played the ocarina well. Hmm, that melody is so fine, Ribbit. We all should practice it. Take rupees as a souvenir. If you come up with another nice melody, please drop by and play it, Ribbit Ribbit. Yeah, cool rupees, I guess. 
Now, what if I play the Sun Song? I feel like this is going to be kind of weird. Because we played it here, and maybe we'll shift uh, time forward a little bit. A young lad, yeah, 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 I know. I play the Ocarina like an absolute, absolute cool boy. Okay, so there's Sun Song. Or, Song of Storms, yeah, Sun Song. Oh, it's raining all of a sudden. I wonder why that's the case. Okay, that didn't really do much for me. Oh, never mind. Okay, so if you play Song of Storms, uh, there you go. You get a piece of heart. But I want to get these lads to be a little bigger. Because we want to get, essentially, all the frogs here to be, uh, I guess, adult-sized? I don't really know what to say here. Apparently, we already played the song. That's good. All right, what songs do we do we have here? So we got Zelda's Lullaby, Bonus Song, Saria Song. We got the Song of Time we can play. So let's do Saria Song, I guess. There we go. There we go. All right, that's another frog grown to full size. Another purple rupee. Very nice. Oh, wait, what? <laughs> that was so weird. I'm sitting there like, what? Hmm. Alright, so we have one frog left. But where? What song am I missing here? We played Zelda's Lullaby. We played Epona song. Sorry song we played. Uh Song of Time. Song of Storms. See, I don't know what song we didn't play. Uh nope. See. I think we already played this. If not, I don't remember. It's <laughs> we need to essentially play each of the songs. And that is the big thing. Okay, so alright, that's each. Each of them right there. So that's good. <laughs> Alright. So this is an interesting one. Look at us. We're all huge frogs. We are the world famous, fabulous, five froggish tenures. Ribbit. Make us jump so we can eat the bugs flying above us. Ribbit. Okay. Then ready, set, go. Yeah, you gotta play that quick, unfortunately. Yeah, it's... I'll try to play it as quickly as I can, but uh, we'll see how it goes. Okay. Very nice. I just had to concentrate a little bit for that one. Young boy, you did great! Perfect. We are stopped, Ribbit. Would you take this as a token of our gratitude? What is it? Hey, would you look at that? It's another piece of heart. Ain't that just swell? So with that out of the way, that's all I really wanted to do here at Zora's Domain. We essentially had two heart pieces we needed to obtain, and we did. So let's go ahead and go back to being an adult, and let's wrap up the good old temple. The good old spirit temple. Ah, Temple of Time, we've seen you so many times. I didn't know where I was going with that. I think I had something planned, but eh, it just escaped me. Can't win them all, I guess. Hey, Master Sword, how you doing? I'm gonna pull you out and then not use you whatsoever. That sound good to you? Alright. Wahoo! Sleep-induced comas, what's up? <laughs> Let's go. Alright. Hey, Master Sword, now you're gonna stay in my pocket. Alright. I forgot how to play... <laughs> The song to get us there, so let's go ahead and see. Not Prelude of Lights, Requiem of Spirit, it's just that, okay. Whoa. <laughs> I, I don't know how I keep messing this up. My memory's just shot, I guess. I don't know. We were doing pretty good in the first half, but then, then in the second half, uh, everything just kind of fell apart. Do be like that sometimes, I guess. Alright, let's go ahead and 
run right on into the spirit temple. But before we even do that, I know we still have one more thing we gotta do. You see this nice, uh, nice lily pad here, or what have you, the power of leaf technology, I guess would be one way to put it. We need to ride on this thing for just a little bit. There's a golden skull tula, but I don't care. And there we go. That's it. That's the final heart piece of the game. Once we grab the heart container within the spirit temple, we'll have all hearts.